my name is Stefan. Uh, I'm based in uh, Graz, Austria. I work for a company called Solvion and I'm a, and I'm a technical lead there. Um, besides that, I'm an MVP for artificial intelligence, I'm focusing around the Microsoft Bot framework and the whole conversational AI platform. Uh, and that's why I actually did this uh, sample on integrating a bot within a SharePoint framework uh, or basically a SharePoint environment. Um, and this was actually my first sample I submitted. So um, good to know that David has pushed out some some contribution guidelines uh, as I now want to start uh, contributing more and more into the PMP stuff. So first of all, uh, for any one of you who doesn't know what actually Microsoft is offering in terms of conversational AI and bots, um, there's a pretty decent SDK out there, which is called the Microsoft Bot Framework, um, which is basically designed to um, have you being able to, to uh, develop bots, um, no matter if it's on the .NET stack or JavaScript or even Java or Python is available these days. Um, so you could basically uh, use that SDK to write your bot, um, do the whole development uh, stuff locally on your machine. And if you say you're ready to go and you want to push your bot out to, to the world, uh, you can host it on Azure, of course. So there's a managed uh, bot service called the Azure Bot Service, um, which basically does the whole connection to the channels like Teams, Slack, Facebook Messenger, and so on for you. Um, so the cool thing is you basically write your bot, bot code once and it runs everywhere, no matter where which channel you want to, to target. Um, on top of that, uh, you got to use some services uh, for for uh, integrating intelligence into your bot because the bot itself is not that not that intelligent at all. Uh, the intelligence comes by uh, the thing called cognitive services. So there are, uh, I guess there are more than 20 or almost 30 cognitive services out there which you could use in the various categories for various use cases like vision, language understanding, speech and so on. Um, and on top of that, Microsoft actually uh, is now starting to um, push out templates, which you can uh, basically use to as a starting point for various use cases like an HR template for a HR bot, a customer care template and so on. Um, so what we also have uh, in the in the bot ecosystem, similar to, to the PMP um, thing is a bot builder community. So if you if any one of you is interested in doing like bot stuff, um, reach out to us. Um, we have some some GitHub repos out there which you can contribute to. Um, what is actually a, a bot uh, and how does it work? So if any one of you um, has ever built a bot um, or, or worked with the Microsoft uh, solutions out there, um, it's basically, or, or the, the vision is basically to have a virtual assistant, uh, which is capable of adding value to various user processes. So um, in some kinds, it should be able to understand speech, uh, some use cases should um, be able to uh, have a bot which is capable of answering questions and answers or um, commonly uh, asked questions and FAQ stuff. Um, and what you basically need to think about always when, when developing bots is, first of all, um, which user input types do I want to support? Should it be a text-only bot? These days, um, if we if we as humans um, have a conversation with another human being, we don't actually use text only, but we work with links, we work with images, we work with emojis. So you should also think about if your bot should understand that these kind of, of input types and, and attachment types as well. Um, you want to think about your channels you want to you want to deploy your bot to. Um, so should it be a Teams bot? Should it be like a Amazon Alexa skill type of bot, um, and therefore you need to have like various services um, put into your bot for speech understanding or for um, special teams things uh, like messaging extensions and so on. And of course, um, your bot is not only um, be able to run on, on smartphones and on, on the browser, um, you can deploy your bot anywhere you want to. So you can, as I said, write an Amazon Alexa skill with the bot framework could do the same for Cortana. Um, you can even push your bot into uh, your your vehicle, your car, if you want to, um, and talk to your bot in your car. And the next thing you always have to keep in mind um, is 
does the bot uh, need to connect to web knowledge sources? Of course it can because it's just a web application. You run somewhere in Azure or in your uh, premises on your data center or wherever. So you can reach out to them. And Microsoft actually um, is kind of going the same way as Amazon does with its Alexa. So you can build skills. Um, and those are the things um, you can reuse. So it's basically comparable to the reusable components, um, if you will. So you basically just develop your bot and then you develop the skills and plug the skills into your bot and you can reuse them across different bots um, to make the user interaction and the user experience even greater. And of course, um, the Microsoft stack is natively integrated so you can work with the graph natively. You can do all the authentication stuff with Azure AD um, right from your bot. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, in terms of channel support, um, there are more than 20 channels supported right now. Um, so as you can see, and as I mentioned here, not only Microsoft ones, but also third party channels are supported. Um, and from, from the sample perspective I did, um, I focused around the web chat uh, channel and the, the direct line channel. So those are basically um, the pre-built channels you can use to offer like a web chat uh, window for your bot, which you can host on, let's say your web page or wherever. Um, and this pretty much looks like this out of the box. So this is all also out open source out there on GitHub. So you can check that out. Um, you can clone the repo, you can customize it. Um, you can integrate it with JavaScript or if you want, and as, as I did it as well in the sample, integrated if re integrated with React. So um, there's the bot framework dash web chat uh, MPM uh, module you can use. Um, which basically offers you the React component um, you could use uh, for rendering the web chat as a React component. Um, as you can see on the left-hand side, in terms of customizations, that's pretty um, pretty basic. So you have all black and white uh, out there. Of course, um, what what the web chat component uh, offers you is to change various colors, change the sizes, of course, even um, use your own CSS styles. Um, and uh, with the React component, you can do even more. So you can add custom render activities. Um, you can add uh, new UI components if you want to, uh, and you can basically recompose the whole UI to fit your needs. Um, and the sample I did was based on a sample which was already out there. So um, Bob Chairman, uh, Gary Pretty, and the team did a good job in, in uh, kicking out the sample for which was actually using the bot framework version three. Um, so version three was used uh, one and a half years ago, um, and one and a half years ago version four um, got uh, got G8, I guess, roughly at that time frame. Um, and the V3 version of the web chat uh, offered rather rather basic capabilities in terms of um, customizations and so on. Uh, so back then, um, you only had like text support and stuff, and the the SPFX uh, web part sample, um, which was out there, also just had that text support. And when you do uh, modern bots and when you, when you develop modern bots, you don't want to use text only, but you want to use like adaptive cards, you want to use rich attachments, you want to use images, videos, links, and stuff like that. Uh, and they should be natively rendered within the the web chat window. So I thought. Uh, would be a pretty cool idea to upgrade the sample and to to integrate it with the version four, um, and that's basically what I did. So um, let's jump on to the code. Actually, um, as I said, I'm using the um, I'm using the React component um, from the bot framework. Um, I have here some uh, properties I uh, define and I, which basically users can uh, configure in the property pane ranging from the direct line secret. So direct line secret is the secret we use to connect the web part to the bot. So the web part actually, or the React uh, component actually knows whom to talk to and where the bot is deployed. Um, and when you do a, when you uh, add a bot in the Azure portal, you always get a direct line secret. So that's the secret you use to communicate from the bot with any other service or instance uh, natively via the direct line protocol. Um, what we also can change is like text colors, uh, background colors. Um, we can uh, set some initials for the bot and the users, um, or we can also set some images for the bot and the users, um, and so on. 
so uh, this basically that's basically it from from the property side uh, and the web part side or direct uh, component side is rather simple um, so um, what I actually did and this is basically the whole magic which happens in there um, is that you use the react web chat component coming from the bot framework dash web chat uh, npm module um, you add your direct client secrets as I said this there's the unique identifier and the secret um, connecting the web part and the, the Azure bot uh, and you give some some style options uh, with it um, for uh, customizing the UI and that's basically it um, and what that looks like in detail um, as I said style set options so there are a lot of um, there's, there's a lot of styling capabilities out there um, so you can basically recompose the whole uh, user interface and the whole React web chat component and you can play around with the colors, you can play around with the with the height uh, width of images and the, with uh, the height and image uh, width of the uh, text boxes and so on. And you can basically get your CI CD guidelines on top of the web chat component to make it look native wherever you want to deploy it. Um, you can even use custom fonts if you want to. If you if you don't like the Segway UI, um, you can use uh, I don't know Comic Sans or or any other font if you like to make it more look like um, funny or so. Um, and yeah, that's basically it from there. So if you want to check it out, I have a blog post out there uh, which is basically uh, just around the styles adoptions you have. Um, so let's look at let, let's look at it. Uh, in detail or, or uh, live, so I have a I have a site here, um, and I've already added the bot web check bot framework chat v4 um, app to to my site. So uh, the solution basically uh, offers you both. This is the version free, um, and this is the the sample I uh, published out there. Um, and if you add it. Of course, it says unable to connect because I have not added the uh, direct line secret. So I'm going to go ahead and add the direct line secret now. Um, so my bot actually runs out in Azure. Uh, and this direct line secret is um, bound to my bot in Azure. Um, and that's basically it uh, for the first thing I need to, to insert in there. So if the direct line secret is there, um, the connection can be established. And I can basically talk to my bot and say, hi, how are you? And so on and it will basically respond. So as you can see here, um, that's the, the, the basic web chat um, UI here, black and white, not very fancy. Um, so if you want to make it more colorful, colorful, um, we can go ahead and just add some, some colors in here. Um, the background messages from the bot, we can also go ahead and uh, add some, some foreground colors same for user messages um, same for the text box so we can customize the text box if you want to uh, and on the second page we have the visuals concerning the icons or or initials you want to use so i'm gonna go ahead uh, and this is basically a one thing i uh, can can imagine which can be um, a next release thing um, to not uh put in there some some hard-coded images but reach out to the graph as the user is already logged in in my sharepoint site reach out to the graph grab the user image from the graph and put it in there uh, as an image for for the user um, to make it more uh, appealing um, so if i've said anything and i hope i didn't forget anything let's just reload the page right again and see um, we have like an image for the user here the um, message background for user messages is now light blue the same is true for bot uh, messages which is uh, dark blue we have an image for the bot and you can basically go from there um, and design the whole thing uh, how you want to to have it designed and of course um, we also have support for not only text but for like in this case an adaptive card which renders here um and that's pretty pretty decent pretty cool use case to integrate bots within your sharepoint site um and the next thing i may um, release the couple the next couple of weeks is to not only have this as a web part 
but have this as an application customizer within your pages um, to basically have like a, a floating button somewhere on your page, which you can actually use um, to trigger the, the web chat to your bot and users can still navigate on the page and can talk to the bot. And then um, if they say, okay, uh, the bot helped me, I'm finished with the conversation, just click on the on the button again and it disappears. So that's basically um, what's cooking from my side. Um, if you want to know some details about it, um, I've also done a, a blog post on this or just simply check out the GitHub repo um, where everything is um, uh, described. There's even a uh, sample chatbot in there, which was done by Gary Pretty. So if you don't have a bot already and you don't um, have the time to, to develop your own bot, just use the uh, sample bot in there. Um, there's also some links in there which described on how to, to get started with the, with the bot samples. So you should pretty uh, pretty uh, fast to, to uh, have this sample up and running. So that was about it from my side. Great stuff. Really interesting uh, demo.